Hey guys, my name is Matimio, and today I took up another challenge. Last time, a bunch of you wanted to see if I could do well with the Ustas with the frag rounds, and uh, honestly, I tried doing this about a, a couple months ago, where I was like, "This, this can't be too bad. Like, let's just give this, sh give this a shot." And then after trying to get gameplay for like a good 30, 45 minutes. I wasn't able to be even remotely successful with it, so I just bagged it back then. I probably like rage quit a bunch of times, and I just said, scrap it, I'm gonna go on to a different challenge, I don't even care. But uh, I decided today to kind of bite the bullet and see if I could make this thing work. And many of you probably have some nightmares when this was a very popular build, this was a very popular setup back in the day, I wanna say around the time that Strike at Karken was released, Everyone was running this. It was extremely powerful. You could basically just flood a room with frag rounds and everyone inside of it would die. I mean, it was extremely effective. But then, you know, DICE went in, they gave it the old nerf bat, they were trying to balance things out, which is exactly what they were supposed to do. But I think they went to the point where it is so bad that there is literally no reason for it being in the game. It is so terrible that there are no situations where you have an advantage over your enemy. Actually, take that back. There are there are some situations, and I'll go into that here in a bit. But they're so small and insignificant, and they happen so few and far between that there is, there's just no reason to run with this setup if you want to be even remotely successful. And I think the real driving factor behind this is its low damage model and its slow rounds per minute. It doesn't do a lot of damage. I mean, they nerf this thing significantly to the point where it's going to take you four or five shots to drop a target. And normally, like, that doesn't seem too terrible. That's in line with basically all of the assault rifles in the game. That's in line with basically everything other than the sniper rifles. It takes four or five shots to drop someone. But when you only have a rounds per minute of 200, those four or five shots feel like an eternity. And when you get in firefights with someone, even if they're up close and personal and you are just kind of, you know, blasting at them, they have an advantage. They have an inherent advantage simply because they have a higher RPM with their weapon. I don't care what they're using, they have an advantage. I mean, they were. I was going against support players that were using the PKP. They were hip firing me down faster than I could take them out simply because of the low damage and the very slow rounds per minute. I mean, it's just inherent with the weapon in itself. And as you guys can probably imagine, this created some problems for me, and I wasn't exactly sure how I was going to approach this challenge. And my initial response was to play kind of the medium to long range game, because I knew that one of the kind of nice aspects of Frag Rounds is that it does the same amount of damage no matter how far the target is from you. So as long as you get a direct hit, or as long as you hit them directly at their feet, you're gonna get the full damage out of it. But because this is Frag Rounds, and it's got a really heavy weight behind it, it has a very slow travel speed and a large bullet drop, so trying to line up targets at a range, while I could do it somewhat every once in a while, because it takes four or five shots, to drop someone, trying to line up four or five shots at a distance, and if they're moving, is not a simple challenge. And as long as I got the first shot off and miss like the two or three after it, they're gonna know I'm, you know, trying to take them out, look in my general direction, notice that I'm kind of floundering, shooting these random rocks at them, and then they're gonna proceed to take me out. And so then I tried out the close quarter maps and I tried to play the, the close game. And while I was a little bit more successful with it, it still wasn't a cakewalk because I would still run into these scenarios where I would get the first couple of shots off and because the slow rounds per minute on this weapon is just so atrocious, they would just turn and burn me with their AEK, their, you know, the, their F2000, their M16A3, those high rate of fire assault rifles, and I wouldn't stand a chance. There were so many times that I, I hated many this because I don't like rage quitting, but I left some servers fuming. Like I, I was a little upset, and and it's funny because I've done stuff like EOD bot, repair tool only. I've knifed people. I've used I've used a tow stationary tow missile turret to snipe people from across the map, and even those don't get me upset. But when I use a weapon and I use a setup that I know 
should be successful, or at least I feel like it should be a viable option and it's not, and I'm just struggling and people are just dominating me, not because of the weapon that they're using or their skill or anything like that, but because of the weapon I am using and the terrible attributes of it, it's just so frustrating for me that I, I get a little upset and I, I hate I hate to admit it, but uh, this, this one definitely got under my skin. I, I will say though, that the one redeeming quality of the frag rounds, and it's not much, is that it does have splash damage. So if you do know someone's just around the corner or they're camping a certain area, you can just fire a bunch of shots at the wall or at the ground and you can scare them away so that they will move and so that you and your, your buddies can kind of flush them out. But those situations are so few and far between that it just doesn't justify using this setup. I mean, you could use the LVG, you could throw a grenade in there, you could throw in C4. I mean, anything other than the frag rounds is going to be better for those engagements and those scenarios, and it just boggles my mind that DICE has kept this in the game, because I honestly believe that this is one of the worst, if not the worst, set up in the game. Uh, but that is about it for today's Terrible Weapon Challenge, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you have a setup that you would like me to try next, let me know down below in the comment section. Also, make sure to thumbs up the ones you would also like me to try. But until tomorrow, guys, have a good one and take it easy.